Well, here we are again on a Friday morning. It's really good to have everybody back. Welcome to our Lynx family out there. Dennis Durville here. And it's my great privilege for the next four or five weeks to have uh, the, the amazing Randy Wolf. Many of you are familiar with Randy. Uh, but in all seriousness, we're here to talk about a journey that Randy's been on for some time. Randy, good to see you. Good to see you, Dennis, as always. So to our Lakes family, uh, let me just kind of clue you in here. Uh, I, am, I am so impressed and so amazed at what Randy's been able to do. We're going to talk about the next four or five weeks, Randy's recently released book, What God May Say. Now, just to be clear so that everybody understands, Randy's not going to make a dime off this book, uh, not a penny. Uh, any, any book sales, we're not here to promote the book or to make, you know, book sales, although I would encourage you to buy it. It's an extraordinary piece of work, many years in the making. Uh, but just so you know, all proceeds, all profits goes to Lynx Ministry so that we can continue to reach men and women for Christ. So, Randy, this first session, you can go any direction you want, but t tell us, remind us, well, remind me and tell us. What started this journey? Well, uh, it was very innocuous at first. Uh, we were having coffee at Starbucks. Uh, I was with Bill Rogers and Gary Christopher and a man named Gerald Richardson. We were getting ready to play in a golf tournament, and Gerald came up with this, this idea that his church was practicing called two-way prayer. And um, he then went on to explain how when we show up for our quiet time with God, uh, instead of dumping all our prayer requests on him, here's our spreadsheet, you know, this is what we need, is to show up and listen, and maybe God will say something to us through the Spirit, through other people, through events, through what we're going through now, and, and so forth, and uh, just kind of journal what God might say to you. Anyway, uh, then we went to our tea time and played golf. But anyway, I got home that night and I thought, I'm going to try it. So the next morning I got up and I was quiet and still. And uh, that's one of the key ingredients. You've got to be quiet and still and journaled uh, a paragraph or less what God might say. And it was not something that you might think like, I love you so much. You know, I sent my son to die for you. It was like, Boy, you've been dealing with some stuff. I, you, we've been through this before. You know, help me get on the other side of this. So it was really somehow communication to me what God might say to me. So I did that for a week, and then I did it for a, a month, and then I got into the habit of doing it, and I did it for a year. And um, then uh, tell you the rest of the story later. But I, it was just a, a discipline that I loved doing. And one of the things, Dennis, uh, I got to share with one story with you about uh, a hammock. Um, it, it's just a tool. Uh, uh, having uh, thoughts that you can journal that God might say to you is just a tool to help you in a relationship with God. But when I was uh, uh, working at a, a Christian guest ranch in Colorado, uh, people would come up there for a week and ride horses and climb mountains and have a wonderful time. Well, in the upper meadow at Wind River Ranch, uh, it was a beautiful uh, meadow there and uh, aspen trees. And we put hammocks up there, really nice hammocks in between some of the aspens and a rock brook underneath the, the hammock and so forth. And we thought, this is kind of crazy. People come up here to ride horses and climb mountains. They're not going to sit in a hammock. But uh, one lady did. And she told me the story. She came up to Wind River and she was tired. Her marriage was, was failing. She had all kinds of issues in life and so forth. And she said, you know what y'all gave me? A priceless gift. You gave me time. You gave me time to sit and be still. And there's a, there's a sign in the prayer garden that says, be still and know that I am God. And when she was still, God spoke to her in ways that he had never spoken to her before and said, I want you to tell you that the hammock saved my life. So it's just a discipline is all it is. And uh, I love the idea of getting out of the fast lane for just a moment and being able to uh, have a talk with God. 
Well, I've just begun reading this, and it's very, very clear. It, it struck me earlier this morning uh, that this is a discipline, but it's a d- discipline that has a real delight to it. So it's not like a discipline that you begrudge or you hate. It's a discipline that you delight in because now you're having basically a conversation with the Almighty. You're talking to him, but he, but you're also listening to him. And so prayer properly defined. And so this now is the work. Again, what God may say, this is a daily devotional. And it's really born out of Randy's walk with Christ over many, many years. So Randy, I look forward to the second, third, fourth, fifth episode, you telling us more and more about this and and really encourage all our Lynx family. So Randy's going to be writing some of our devotionals during this series and also our Bible studies. So Randy, look forward to seeing you next Friday and to our Lynx family. Uh, God bless. We'll see you in about a week. Thank you, Dennis.